So what race 10 then is the Pontefract Marathon. Uh, this is a marathon. It's ten. It's ten miles. It's two miles, five furlongs, and 110 yards. It's a class three handicap. Nought to 19. The top one is Warrior One Obi One. Number two is Black Car Alex Cherry. Number three is Mr. Ed Graham Clutterbuck. Number four is Keys Stu Gray. Five is Gold Cup Derek Hinton. Six is Pixley James Follis, and seven is Frosty Friday. Darren Howes. They're all in then in the Pontefract Gloom, and away they go. With the rain coming down, and a long old way to go in this one and significant pointer horse number four keys is trying to win the race for the third year on the trot which is probably unprecedented in so 6 online league if anybody knows any different let us know in the forum and warrior one is the first to show then as they settle themselves down i expect a pretty steady pace here with the rain getting into the ground as well warrior one leads by a length to gold cup in second and a gap of Probably two or three lengths to three together. That's Keys, Black Car, and Mr. Ed. And then another gap of a length or two to Frosty Friday and Pixley, who are at the back. So one or two of these trainers do particularly well in these long distance races, don't they? Stu Gray has lots of runners in the long distance runs, and so too did Darren Howes and James Follis, pretty much experts in this sort of style of racing, these long distance runs. And Graham Clutterbuck also likes to chuck one in these long distance races as well but warrior one at the moment is the leader and serious chill the american trainer you'd think you'd be uh, you'd find these races a little bit alien wouldn't you they don't have too many races over this sort of trip in america if they have any at all to be honest um so i'm sure he finds these interesting warrior one is the leader gold cup is second keys is third and mr ed four and black car five and then a gap to pixley and Frosty Friday, who is just a back marker. The Warrior one that it is. And Gold Cup in second. And Keys is third. Then Black Car and Mr. Ed. I'm sure if Keys wins this, we'll have to change the name of the race next next year to the Keys Pontefract Marathon. Or something. And it's Warrior one in front. And Gold Cup second. He's third, Mr. Ed four, Black Car five, Pixley six, and Frosty Friday seven. The order pretty much as you were, and they're virtually an Indian file now, with Warrior one taking them along at a reasonably steady pace, leading by a length to Derek Hinton's Gold Cup in second. I wonder if he called that Gold Cup because he thought it might win the Gold Cup. Well, it's a big old step up from a 0 to 90 handicap at Pontefract to the Ascot Gold Cup in a couple of weeks. But there's a also a long distance handicap at North Alaska, isn't there? Which is probably where that one and most of these could well be headed, I would think. But Warrior One is the leader. With Gold Cup in second, Mr. Ed third, and Keys four. And Pixley and Black Car and Frosty Friday is about five or six lengths adrift now. But still plenty of time to get back into this with well over a mile still to go. And Warrior One is yet to be headed. Gold Cup is in the Silver Cup position of second, as he has been most of the way. Keys is moving through on the inside in third. And then Pixley is getting considerably closer. Mr. Ed, oh, I think Graham Clutterbuck thought was going to be a serious contender for the Gold Cup this year at one point. I seem to remember seeing something in the forums about a conversation with him and John Morgan where they were suggesting that there'd be some competition between a couple of their horses. Well, see John Morgan in many nought and 90s, so I think he may well have won that argument. And Frosty Friday continues to be the back marker. So Warrior One it is then still being pushed along now though as they come down towards the business end of the race. And Keyes has got himself boxed in on the inside. And I'm sure Stu Gray, my fellow commentator, will be tearing his hair out as he sees his jockey rise up in the air there. And oh, I don't know what happened there. And <laughs> it's Warrior One in the lead. Warrior One continues to lead from Pixley. Gold Cup is now under hard driving. Keyes has been boxed in. Then comes Black Car and Mr. Ed. I think we can forget for Frosty Friday, that one has dropped right out the back and it's Warrior One who continues to lead. Now Keys has got some racing room, it needs to get a bit of a move on because there's three furlongs to go and Warrior One is in the lead from 
Tom Pixley in second. Keys on the inside. Mr. Red round the outside. Then comes Black Car and Gold Cup. It's between these. They're racing now towards the final two furlongs. And Warrior One is still in the lead and is clear by a good two lengths on Black Car, who's moved into second. Keys is looking a little bit one post at the moment. He's got a lot of work to do. Then comes Pixley, Mr. Red. And then Gold Cup is now dropped out of it as well. But it's Warrior One now being pressed by Black Car. As they hit the final furlong, it's Black Car in the lead, Warrior 1, and Pixley, Keys has been switched to the outside and he's starting to get going, but it looks like it's far too late, it's Black Car in the lead, Black Car races up towards the line, and Black Car looks like he's going to take it by a good couple of minutes up towards the line, Black Car is the winner, Pixley second, Keys are heartbreaking third, then Warrior 1 and Mr. Ed and Gold Cup and finally Frosty Friday, Black Car takes it for Alex Cherry. Pixley second for James Follis, Keys for Stu Gree was an unlucky third, and Warrior one fourth for Obi-Wan, Mr. Ed for Graham Clutterbuck.